emotions like for you, Marcus, going into senior day tomorrow? I guess what's this place meant for you for the one year stuff? Yeah, uh, in my one year, you know, it's been really good to me. You know, I've met a lot of, a lot of good people in the program, outside the program. So it's been a really good time. You know, I obviously haven't been here too long, but you know, my time here has been really enjoyable. Do you feel like you got to be a part of the culture here, um, as opposed to just a one-year stop for some basketball? Yeah, definitely. You know, I felt like everybody kind of took me in like I, you know, grew up here my whole life. You know, I, I really felt the love from everybody here and, you know, I, I felt like you know, I was a part of the community. If you could go back to the recruiting process, it seems like Coach Underwood and the staff like, identified early that, that you were a fit and really pushed to, to get you here. Like, what do you remember about their approach and anything stand out about their just intentionality to, to have you fit what they want? Yeah, I think uh, during the recruiting process, they just they just showed that, you know, like they really needed me here. You know, that was a, a key thing and just how much they, you know, really wanted me and felt like I could contribute. So I think that was just the, the most important thing that really stuck with me during that process. What's that tell you? You can sense that from the coaches? Like, what's that tell you about them or about how serious they obviously were? Yeah, I mean, it definitely, you know, it, it makes me, you know, consider school a lot more seriously. You know, there's... Obviously, you know when you're in the portal that coaches are talking to a lot of different players. So you got to try to sift through, you know, what they're just kind of saying and what what really like they mean, you know. So through that, you know, different coaches, you just got to kind of figure out like what's true and what's not, honestly. Quite a few, quite a few transfers. Uh, how do you think you guys kind of uh, mesh together in, into a cohesive unit? And obviously a really successful season. Yeah, you know, I, th I think we did really good. Um, you know, I think when you bring uh, guys to transfers that are older and that we're just focused on winning, you know, good things are going to happen. We didn't come in trying to get ours. We just came in as a collective group trying to win. And that's kind of how we created a bond and, you know, how our, our play on the court is done. Do you feel like you had the complementary uh, skill sets within that group also? Is that a big part of it? You think? Yeah, yeah, I thought that, you know, the coaches went out and got guys that fit together and you know everyone kind of has their role and we just learn how to play off of each other. Was it apparent to you early that you know, everyone did have that same mindset that just like this is the one year to, to just win? Yeah I think I I found out I would say in the summer during open gyms just through conversations on the court and off the court there that you know this was a group that our collective mindset was winning you know and that was kind of refreshing to, to hear from my teammates. Do you feel like against Purdue, you guys are different from that first matchup? Yeah, I mean, obviously we have T TJ, so, you know, that's a completely different dynamic for our team. You know, he brings a lot to us. So, And I think outside of just TJ, you know, a lot of us have gotten a lot better. So I think we're a completely different team than we were the first time around. Uh, I think for me, you know, I, I had confidence that, you know, what I had worked on and, you know, just my success I had at the mid-major level would carry over. You know, I think basketball is basketball at the end of the day. You know, it's the same set of rules. So I think that, you know, just the confidence I had in my ability and the work I put in was going to transfer over. From that angle, though, like, it seems like a lot of guys like you have got to sacrifice something by being on this team kind of winning and how did you how did you guys kind of move that felt that way? Um, I mean yeah I think for me I'm willing to sacrifice a lot to win you know I think winning solves everything you know so sacrificing whatever I need to if that's going to make us win more games that's, that's what I'm willing to do. Marcus so obviously backing guys down posting up some big part of your game what changes when you get a 7-4 guy like Zach Eadie in, in the lane Does, do you have to be aware of him at all times or? Yeah, I mean, it's hard It's hard not to be aware. You know, he's 7'4". You're going to know where he's at in the court. So, you know, just kind of knowing where he's at. And then, you know, if he's sitting in the in the lane, we got shooters that we can space him out with. So we can't just sit there. If he does, I'll just spray to other guys. How do you feel like you guys are better prepared for Purdue this time around compared to last time when you went there? Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously with TJ, that, that's a change our dynamic. But just the... Everybody's gotten better. You know, I think we're playing with more confidence now than we were back then. Uh, you know, 
I think we're clicking more on offense. So I think uh, our team is a lot different than it was when we first played them. How important do you think it is to keep this winning going now that you're getting closer to the Big Ten tournament and then the NCAA tournament? 